<laughs> there he is, the mad mullet. This guy is a mate of mine, and he's also a commercial mud crab fisherman here in the Gulf of Carpentaria in a remote part of the Northern Territory of Australia. He lives in a place called King Ash Bay Fishing Club, which is right on the MacArthur River, which feeds out into the Gulf. There are quite a few Gulf mud crabbers here, and I've spent a lot of time with them over the past few years in my videos. They are all unique in their own ways. But then, there's the mad mullet. Yeah, man. Today I'm heading down the river with Mullet and spending the night in his crab shack. We're going crabbing and I'm also going to try and catch some barramundi fishing from the jetty at night. Down here at the boat ramp at King Ash Bay Fishing Club. Got my car down here all loaded up with stuff. And we're going to brave the wind. I'm going to head out with the mad mullet today. We organised 10 minutes at the boat ramp and that was about half an hour ago. So, just playing the waiting game. Here he comes now. Better late than never, eh? Good morning, Mike. Good morning, mullet. Oh, goodness me. I'm a little bit nervous, mate. Uh, we'll be right. We've got two little puppies there to protect us. Hey, Brandy. Hey, Jenny. Brandy's daughter. Cool. Hey. All right, I'm only coming out one night, but I've got a fair amount of stuff. That's right. Loaded in, eh? Right, yeah. All right, in you get Brandy. Come on. All right, I'll meet you down at Bullfrog's Jetty. All right. Yep. Yeah, I'll park my car down there. <laughs> there it is. The start of the trip. Yeah. A bullfrog's jetty. Oh That's where yeah. All the adventures start. Thanks, bullfrog, for the bit of a sponsor there. <laughs> Got the hounds. Let's go have a look, eh? Sweet home. Yep. Just waiting for the tide to come in. Yeah, right, yeah. We didn't catch no goldies, but we're having a quick coldie before we go, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Up in it. <laughs> Gotta do me house chores. Hey Brandy, give me a hand too, eh? <laughs> Cup of tea on the boil. And a little bit of the wobbler. Yeah mate, so you got some of your crabs down here, just yeah. storage. Mullet's bedroom over here. Shower there. Tina having a kick back here. Yeah. So there's the kitchen. Michelin star worthy. I think I'm going to find a little patch over here somewhere. Yeah, we'll put a dog plan. Right there. Only three dogs. Only three dogs here this trip. Yeah. There you go. That, uh, that concludes the tour of the crab shack. <laughs> Waiting for the tide to come in. Yeah, not long now. Well, there goes Tina off to work now. About to climb in here and go get amongst it. Go and do the mad mullet's crab run. Brandy, stay there and be good, please. Hey, don't go ripping up the house. <laughs> hey, all right? Yeah, man, let's do Hold it. On your wobble, eh? Yeah, yeah. Let's go have a look. See Mullet's boat set up a bit different to Ash's boat. He's got the uh, the live well down here. Yep, they go inside the boat. Yeah, so Ash has a big box that sits out there and you just push the crab in the box. Mullet's one... One fish bait. Oh, catfish. Yeah. We got one undersized there. Use that one for bait. And three, eh? 
Oh, that's a big boy too. Oh yeah. He'd be happy with happy with three keepers per pot if you could keep that up all day, eh? That's true. It all adds up. We've got two chicken wings and a little bit of cod for him. A little bit of surf and turf, eh? Yep, mix it up for him. Right, eh? Off again. All close around the house, eh? Was that probably about 500 metres away from the house, be catching crab? Unreal. A bit of a storm this afternoon brewing up there, Mikey. You never know, mate. Yeah, you never know. There. Looks like raining them. Keep your eyes out, too. You see a lot of barracks sitting up here in the snags here. Yeah, Roger. Decent sized ones there. How many you reckon? Three? Oh, it's a nice looking creek. Yeah. Have you been, has it been producing? Yep. Yeah, we're going to probably at least three or four at a time there. Three or four keepers. Yep. I like the sound of that. Oh, I don't know about today. Oh, no. One little little Johnny. Yeah. Donut, <laughs> eh? No good, mate. <laughs> That's it. Talking it up, hey. That had fish head in it, too. Had some cod. Oh, no. It's all right. We'll just stack him now. Stack him. Yeah, I have been doing real good in here. It's been producing for the last couple of days. Yep. Actually, two in here, three. Ooh, look out, Mikey. Getting attacked in the mangoes. Oh, crikey. That's why we don't have painted boats, eh? <laughs> Not too bad. Three there. One male, two females. So we're hunting some gullies today. Yeah, little tiny gully here. I see he's floating there. Just watch out, Mikey. Yeah, yeah get, get attacked again. again. <laughs> get attacked. And she's producing too. Oh, yeah. Some good crab there. Two males yeah. and one female. Very good big males too. Oh, yeah. Look at the claws on them. He's huge. And he's solid too. He's weighing. He's not empty. So all the crabs we put in the well today, they are hard. I don't have to check them, because I just know by looking at them. And you will see me through the video, I will throw some small ones out and uh, soft ones. But he's a nice crab, that one. That's a hell of a crab. Oh yeah. And there's a good female on the back here. Yeah. You can tell the female straight away by the big body yeah, the across the back. The back. And they, got, they usually have smaller claws as well. Oh, That's this pretty one's cool. Like Oh, stop it. Hey, there's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine. Uh, yeah, it's a few undersized. Yeah, there's one, maybe she been just in, I reckon, but yeah, all the rest, wow. you can't beat that. So two months ago, if you had this pot right here, where it was? Nothing. So they don't come over until like the end of the year, like now. Yeah. I reckon they might be just in, eh? So where have they been? Like no, that... They just stay dormant in their holes or something. Well, so you reckon they've been here, they're just not out there feeding. That's that is true. a very, very big female there. Yep. And I'll throw you back. Oi. A little undersized. Yep. <coughs> and I reckon this other one here too, I reckon. But yeah, other than that, Mikey, that was a good pot then. Yeah, that was unreal. <laughs> That's pot of the day, see? Yeah, Fish yeah. bait too. Yeah, it'll be... Uh, a bit of cod. It'll be hard to beat that. Oh, yeah. I wonder what that pot's worth to you. Ah, uh, there was like a few hundred dollars. I'd just say three, five, and fifty, so one hundred and fifty bucks, I reckon. Then. Yeah. Yeah. For one pot, one hundred and fifty bucks. Yep. And they're all good females too. Like one of the females is nearly a kilo. Like she was a big girl. Yeah. Want to be in those coldies we had at lunchtime, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that wobbler went down pretty good too. Oh yeah. This one's still got a couple there. That one there's got oh, a big chunk taken to, out of his shell. What happened to him? I wonder yeah. if he's had a fight maybe with another one. I reckon, yeah, we'll let him go because he won't last if I put him in the baskets. Yeah. You can eat him in that, but no, he's better off having a good life swimming around. Good old fish bait. Five, eh? 
Oh, yeah, big boy. Big one of there. One of the day. Oh, yeah. That was on that fish head, too, on the cod. Yeah, cool. I'll keep that cod head on there because he's still fresh. And off to the next one. All good? Yep. Three. Another big buck in there. So these pots we're running, these are the new style for this year. Three door crab pot. Security mesh on there. Uh, stainless steel bait hook. Bit of gutter guard for the doors. And that's him. Three doors. Hope you catch me some more tomorrow. <laughs> Right, Mikey? Yeah, mate. Go to the next one, eh? Two nice big bucks again. Come on, mate. Come on, big fella. Get out there. We got two, four, five, eh? Good pot. On that fresh bait. Yeah, fresh bait. So we'll fresh, take him. Fresh cod head. That one can go. Small undersize. See you, buddy. I reckon that female, she's just in. Two of you. That one. And then these little ones can go. That's what the escape hatch is designed for, too. These are the escape hatches here. So the smaller crab can, can get out fairly easy. Yeah, that's it. They don't get trapped in there with the big ones, and the big ones will try and eat them, too, in there. Put some fresh bait on top of this one. What do we got here, mullet? Oh, mate, three? Oh, yeah. Four? Big boy in there as well. Oh, yeah. Some good crab. Two males, oh, three males and one female. Oh, look how dark that one is. Good yeah, that's like, um, like a phantom colour, yeah. purple. Female, the big boy here. Yeah, Another good crab, eh? That's the big boy. Oh, down there. Oh, nice and one. He's man. hard too. Excellent. That makes someone very happy. Oh, yeah. Another four. Nice. The last few pots have picked up again. It yeah. went quiet for a bit. That one's empty, eh? I knew it would be. This one here I'm about to chuck out. That one there is empty, eh? Yeah, okay. If I grabbed him and pressed him, my hand, just by feeling it, yeah, he's soft already. Yeah. It's all right, we've got three out of that. Nice. Be happy with that. And they have eaten all the bait too, all the chicken wings I had on you. See how hungry they are. Nothing left of it. Yeah, wow. Wanted. Another two. Big one in a female. 
little float hook here. Okay, oh, so we'll... angry. Yeah. There's plenty of room for all of you. Come on, come on, love. Oh, she's cranky. Come on. Come on, in the hole. Come on. Good girl. Cut more crab in that well and she's full. I'll say that would be full, I reckon, Mikey. Yeah, mate, that looks unreal. That's us. Some good crab in there. How many wells do you have? Uh, I've got six there. Look at this one here, that's my brandy pipe. It's only been in the water for a couple of months and all that. They're really making a big hole in there, and twisting it all up. Wow. Just a force, eh? That's why we don't want to get bitten by them. That's why we try and prevent the crab from coming near you and trying to bite you, because they will take your finger off or do some good damage on your hand. That's him. How many you reckon? Three? Four keepers. Definitely. A little bit of weight here. Oh, crikey. Oh yeah, we got one, two, three, no four, maybe five, maybe six there. Just a couple of fellas here, a little bit small. Big girl here too. That's it. That was a good little top up, Mikey. Yeah, unreal. That's what we wanted. At least it's not too windy in here. Yeah, it's nice. We've just got one more to go and check, then one more to drop, and we're done. What, one more pot? Yep. Is that all? Yep. All right, we better make this one count, hey? Woo! Let's take you for the whole ride. Afternoon. Awesome. Hopefully we get one or two in it. I put this one here yesterday. What we got? So we got one male might be just in. Two males, eh? Yeah. Three, but just an undersized, undersized one. Undersized there, but yep. those two. Two are in for Looking sure. Pretty good. And that will just top that off. Lovely. That can go on there. That's us. Hold well on, man. Good run today, Mikey. Done. Yo, beauty. Close him up. Come on, bunge in there. That's us. What a day. Woo. Hey. You got him. Where are we? Here we are. Okay. <laughs> back at camp. Good to be back. The boat's beautiful and clean. We're going to sign off for a bit. We might do some fishing later on. What do you reckon? Yeah. Go see and catch a few barra. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, go and get amongst it. Well, the sun's already down over that direction. But we will lose light really soon. So I'm going to do about 10 casts. Got a little lure going there. I'm going to cast out into this water right here and see if we can get a hook up while it's still daylight. Oh, yep. Barra. Barra Monday. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was my third cast, maybe second, third. Oh, it was probably just in, eh? Yes. Nice one. <laughs> How good is that? Hey. Yo, yeah, beauty. Like, I had a bow come running straight out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mullet.
Yes, and I've got two cameras on. Yeah. Had the chest and there's that one just there. Oh yeah, nice. Oh yeah. Yeah, nah, he's probably like 49. Yeah. Well and truly undersized. But certainly very exciting to get a bar on the second or third cast. Oh yeah. Where's the bigger ones? Oh, I'm going for them. Oh, hit. Got a hit. Oh, another hit. Oh, he followed it. Oh. Oh, that was the bottom. I think that was the bottom. Because I'm riding really slow on that one. Okay. Oh, you big, 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 big. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, I need to put the camera down. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this got got it in the shot. Because it was right there when it took it. Oh, no hook up. Or oh, hit. Hopefully he still follows. Oh, another hit. Come on. Oh, how are you not taking this? Yeah, that tide's moving now. Or oh, hit. Yep, on, on. It looks decent. Yep, decent, Barra. Yep, yep, we got him. Decent, don't go there. Yep, yep, good, 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 good. Nice one, Mikey. Look like All right, that. this circle, this circle. Oh, yes. Oh, no, you still. Hey? Oh, oh, come on, Mo, what are you doing? I took it right past the net, boy. I'm waiting for you to bring it back. Swim in, swim in. Get him out of there, get him out, boy. Oh. Get him out, get him out. Oh, he's gone. Is he coming back? No. Right down here. Back it off a little bit. Okay. Oh, get off, Where is it? There's a light. He's right here, there's a pile on here. I just seen him. Come on, Mullard, you got him. Hold on, hold on. Yes. Oh, no. All right. Oh, he went through. Yep. Mullard, what? Oh, <laughs> no. No, I still got him. What are we going to do? Pull him up, pull him up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yep. Alright, I'm free spool, I'm free spool. You got him. Yes. Holy crap, that was an ordeal. Oh my god. Back around, eh? No, this is right there. Yep, got it. Oh, yes. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 70 something. Oh yeah. That one? Yeah. Uh, I think so. Yeah, well he's on. I think I'm pretty sure it's a barra. Yep. We got a barra. Never fear, mallet is here. <laughs> Thanks, mallet. Oh, oh yes. Watch out. My official net man. Keen, eh? <laughs> yeah. God damn it. There you go. Another MacArthur River Barramundi. That five now. Yeah. Woo! You're getting them up today, Mikey. All over it. On. Yep. Yeah. He's around 60. Right Sounds good to me. Yep, yeah, that's a keeper. Look at that. Sensational little bar of money. Oh yeah. We rise bright and early the next morning and no time for mucking around. Today there's a morning high tide, so we should have a short window to complete another crab run. Rock and roll, eh? How'd you sleep, mate? Oh, good, lights out. <laughs> Dreaming I was catching barra. <laughs> These dogs running around playing all night. Mm -hmm. Straight back into it? Yeah, I'm gonna go check some pots in the corner of the house here and see what we get. Let's get amongst it. Oh yeah. Nice time of day as well.
trip is cut short. There's not enough water to get to most of Mullet's crab pots. <laughs> Okay, we're back at camp. A little bit premature today. Only got through, uh, what, a, not even a quarter of the run, I reckon, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they are. Uh, nice yeah, that's why they call it a tide prediction. Yeah, because the the tide is not always exactly what is predicted. Let's have a look. It wasn't a whole waste of a morning, though, was it? Nah, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Directly behind the crab shack, we can see some strange markings on the ground. And check out these tracks. We've got a crab escape out of a basket. Crab track. It's not us drawing the edge, that's just a crab. <laughs> all he stopped and started again. That's all his little legs just scraping through, yeah. hey? A crab has managed to climb out of one of Mullet's baskets and he's made a run for it. Every now and then he stopped, another look there, then he come this way, another look there. Mullet's just spotted a shiny thing over there. Look at this. I think it is, my dear. That's us. <laughs> Big female, eh? Wild one, eh? One of yours. Is that what got out of your basket? Yeah. Still alive, Still yeah. Still alive, too. <laughs> We've tracked it all the way down, Mikey. We've walked a long way, too. I got me back 30 bucks, eh? <laughs> 30 dollars for me. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Unreal, eh? Wow. Yeah. Big high tide this afternoon, so I think uh, I think Mullet's going to actually run me back to camp. Yep, and uh, come back, and then he's going to go get amongst it this afternoon. Yep. Yeah. See a tan. See a crab shack. Crab load up tomorrow. That's him. Yeah. Oh, sweet. So, yeah. Might, might go down and meet the boys down at the boat ramp tomorrow morning, eh? Okay, we've made it to the end of the week and we're down here at the boat ramp at King Ash Bay for crab load up day. The best day of the week. All the boys have brought in their catch for the week, loaded up in the truck to go to Darwin there. And check it out, the new merch arrived in time for the end of the video, Golf Mud Crabbers. Wait a sec, pause it there. Zoom in a bit, a little bit more. Is that a boat upside down in the middle of the river? We head over to see what's going on. Turns out these fellas hit some rocks yesterday and the boat took on water overnight and has tipped over. Let's see if we can help these guys out. Enough hands on, tech, on deck there with the, all the other crabbers. We're gonna see if we can flip it over, get the water out. to unleash our secret weapon, the Mad Mullet. And side topic, look here, he's wearing some of the new merch too. Ooh, we've got a mullet involved now. Things just got real. <laughs> oh, mullet. mullet repping the new merch. Old Pinky there. So mullet's been down tied, a rope down here. A rope down here. Come on, young boy. Come on, give me the hand. <laughs> We've got a floater. 
And there goes young Damon. He's off to put this salvage boat back on its trailer. Okay, now it's time to show you the new merch. There are three brand new Golf Mud Crabbers shirts available for pre-order. You've seen the Mad Bullet wearing the pink and blue long sleeve version already, but there's a green long sleeve version too. And then there's my favourite, the pub shirt, the short sleeve Golf Mud Crabbers polo. All three of these shirts are available for pre-order right now through my online shop on mikeycunningham.com.au. Thank you so much to everyone that is already wearing my merch all over Australia. We've had hundreds of orders from the biggest cities down to the smallest country towns across every state and every territory. The Goldies Before Coldy shirts are still available, as well as a range of stubby holders and trucker caps. All of them are available through my online shop. If you're interested in having a look, just jump on mikeycunningham.com.au. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.